Just picked up my wheels. I got the rest of them there in the lower garage. We're gonna go ahead and cut these open so I can get a reaction or uh, I guess see what they look like for the first time in person. I've seen pictures and videos, but I haven't seen them in person. Sorry for the background noise. But let's see. As you saw, Phoenix forged. Let's see what they look like here. Packaging is pretty good. Let's see. I'll have to rip this. Packaged really well. Twenty six by twelve. Let's go ahead. Packaged really well. True. That is massive. And floaters. So I picked us up a 472 83 10 stainless five blade with a race cover. I wanted a 472 87 10, but with the deal I got on this, I couldn't pass it up, especially with the race cover and of how many low miles on it. At least he says low miles, it looks like it was low miles. There's absolutely no shaft play at all. So it should do exactly what we want it to do, but we will see once it goes on the truck. Could not pass this deal up. So let's go ahead and I guess whenever we get the new piping, we'll show you that. It's been a little bit since we picked up our turbo. Still need to get that powder coated as well as our piping that we have coming in. This actually just showed up today. Our good friends over at Firepunk hooked us up on a Steed Speed manifold. I'm actually getting ready to cut this open and take a look inside. This is everything that comes in your Steed Speed manifold order. As you can see, obviously you have your main attraction, your manifold, which the craftsmanship is absolutely beautiful their quality is every time it's just i feel like it keeps getting better and better if that's even possible but these things are so beautiful right out of the box but you get your uh, manifold gaskets you get your t4 gasket your studs with nuts and washers you also get your two uh, eighth inch NPT plugs that actually go into the bottom right here to run sensors. Uh, usually people run EGT probe or a um, pressure, pressure gauge. And then this is new since the last one I ordered. They actually give you a little container of mints. So I'm gonna get this open here one-handed. There we go. And it's funny because they're like little bitty box trucks. You can see my dirty nails there, but the box trucks. But Steed Speed sticker, that's the most important part about all this. That's like the only reason I ordered it. But the reason I went with Steed Speed is the sound difference of a Steed Speed versus other people's three piece manifolds, like the one that I had on there before. The Steed Speed, in my opinion, sounds the best. It is the droniest, loudest, just sound wise my favorite i also like the one piece design because it just looks more sleek versus a three piece you have the big old bulky center but you can't not agree that this is just beautiful but if we step out here to the truck you can see the progress that's being made as of right now i'm waiting for a little windy out here i'm waiting for my piping kit and then I believe I'm waiting for my heat wrap and turbo blanket. But the truck had a little bit of an accident, which I need to order new mirrors anyway. We'll go ahead and pop the hood here. But still waiting for the piping to show up. 
I can go ahead and slap the manifold on, but I don't want it to be in the way. I still put my turbo drain line on there and slap the downpipe in. We should be ready to put everything on, but that's the only piece we are missing now. Obviously, I got the wheels back finally, and they are actually sitting at my buddy's shop ready to go on. So once the uh, piping's in, the truck fires up, we can actually drive it over there, put the wheels on it. I have some parts for the front end that I need to install still. If you look down here, we got some kryptonite ball joints, some universal joints for the four-wheel drive in the front, and then we also have some Duralast gold hubs. So that should take care of the front end because I know I have three bad ball joints, and I don't want to put brand new tires on and destroy brand new set of tires with not wearing properly. So next up, we're going to be putting this on, hopefully. And then I also need to wrap my downpipe, which the stuff should be coming, I believe, today or tomorrow to wrap my downpipe. And uh, hopefully I'll show you that, how I wrap my downpipes. And I think it's going to be the cleanest way to wrap a downpipe, in my opinion. But we'll, uh, we'll see whenever that stuff comes in. It's been a couple of days since the last clip, but I have my second gen swap kit in from slosh fab manifold and i actually just finished wrapping my downpipe so i know they don't come wrapped but i like to always wrap my downpipes because of how close they are to the firewall so far out here i have put the studs in as well as the uh, drain down there this rag can come out but the gaskets are on the Oil drain needs to be tightened down it is a dash 12 from slosh fab, which I'm not, I wasn't sure exactly what came all in the kit because he actually sent me a turbo blanket as well, which I was not expecting. I'm going to get to installing most of this and hopefully you enjoyed the video. The next one will be actually firing the truck up and making sure it runs good and just seeing how it forms with this, uh, this kit, make sure everything is not leaking, but hopefully when my fitting shows up tomorrow, we will get this thing fired up and on the road. But until next time, guys, go ahead and subscribe and see you on the next one.